Hi there. I have many things to explain. So what has happened in November? Also, why was I gone for four months? What is going to change from now on? And what is it that you guys watching this are going to receive from it? November has been one of the most life-changing experiences, I guess, in my whole life. I don't know what is it with the fall season in me, but somehow it always brings a beginning of some sorts. But to be completely honest with you, I haven't seen that much of change coming my way this time. Some of you know that I have been choosing this topic to explore each month. Um, and then sharing some findings and takeaways at the end of the month. Uh, so as usual, on November 1st, I announce the next topic of uh, the month. Uh, so that topic was self-analysis. To give you a quick glimpse, I've tried to stay completely true to myself and others. I also shared some um, down moments that I had. Uh, and what I've learned from them. Also, I talked about the TV show that I really liked and which was completely perfect for this kind of month, um, as well as the dream that I finally accomplished, um, some childhood memories, what was inspiring me, even some femininity doubts that I had, and so on and so on. So it had a lot of behind the scenes of my work and uh, personal life. If you want to check all the details what has been going on in November, you can go to 120% Facebook page or Instagram profile and you will find all of it there. I don't want to go into it too much detail this time just because we have so much more to discuss and to be honest, I feel like I haven't even started yet. On November 25th, early in the morning, I and my boyfriend left for this two-day seminar. In Lithuanian, it's called Vertibus Savaitgelis, and to translate it, I guess you could call it um, Values Weekend or something like that. Uh, it is something similar to what Tony Robbins is doing with uh, Date with Destiny. So you can check that out and you'll see what the whole idea is about. But basically you have 300 people uh, who dedicate 30 hours or more to learn all these tools uh, in order to solve really hurting issues they have in their life. Um, and we do it in the most fun way ever, which was perfect for my topic of the month. And I was really excited to see what comes out of it. But never have I ever expected what was going to happen next. See for yourself. Sunku žodžiai sapiūnant, kaip pagerėja, kai tu pašalėmi tai, kas tau skaudėjo metų metus. Metų metus. Ir kai atrodo, anksčiau net negalėtų apie tai kalbėti be kažkokių emocijų, o dabar kažkaip pagalvoju tikrumu, gerą ir kažkai iš tai. Man atrodo, net visai ta emocija transformuojasi į visai kažką kito ir tokį žymį pozitivas. Nu, kaip pagalvoju, bet taip pakeitai, tai kiek yra šansų, kad šitą vienį gerį mes nepasikeitės. Nu, turbūt labai mažai, nežinau, reikėtų labai pasistenti, kad gyvenimas nepasikeis. You come there at 9 a.m. and you leave around midnight, for two days in a row. And the strangest thing of all is that after these 30 hours of intense work, you leave with more energy than you came with on the first day. My biggest takeaway was a bit shocking to myself because I realized that for years I have been taking my life to the opposite direction of where I actually wanted to be. And I couldn't believe that because I always felt like I was someone who was quite aware of my actions and where I'm taking my life. So I left the seminar with such a peace in my heart because for the first time I felt like I had a very clear vision of 
where I want to take my life, what I need to do and what will have to change from now on. So just imagine how much you have on your plate by the time you're leaving the seminar. And now let's double it because of what's going to happen next. Dabar labai bendrai tą medalyvaujam. Man tai ilgą laiką aš galvoju, kad kadangi stačiau pirmą vietą iš naujų šeimą, tai aš manau, kad labai stipriai atsiliepsi tą tokį paveikslą, kokį aš visada turėjau. Ir tai man davė tos ar atsakymus, ar įrankius to paveikslo link eiti tiksliau. So that same night my boyfriend asked for my hand. And going through this whole experience was so powerful and it brought us even closer in this unimaginable way. Um, it's so hard to explain and after the seminar he told me that the only thing keeping, keeping him from proposing was actually a silly stereotype. Stereotype that it's too early. So after 10 months of being together that night, he decided there is no reason to wait any longer and he simply just told me everything he had on his mind. He kneeled down and he asked for my hand and this is how we got engaged. And even right now thinking about it brings up so much emotions and feelings and everything because it it was the most closest, happy, true and natural way to do it because we were so happy and so true to ourselves at that point and even thinking about it right now like I'm tearing up just because that was the most perfect and beautiful thing ever and going through this with someone like you know your second half it's it's so powerful and i would honestly recommend this to any of you guys <sighs> yeah <laughs> no tears needed that was a strange moment because we felt like we were in some sorts of like another reality while other people were living you know day-to-day -day lives and we were just engaged and with all of these emotions and feelings and plans and everything and we had so much to discuss and talk through and that was a special time just to two of us so we decided there is not going to be any Facebook status change um, there was no planning right away we even took probably a week or more uh, before we told the closest friends and families. So that was a special time. And I would truly recommend doing that to others because you have to experience it. And while you're sharing it with others, in some way you feel like, you know, every time you tell the story to someone, it kind of loses its magic a bit. So, we wanted to experience it as long as we can, just two of us. So the next three to four months were key months also to myself because at that point I knew everything I needed to do for my life to take the right direction. And I had a lot of work waiting for me. So first of all, I had to reorganize my company at work. So I shifted my focus on two key projects I have and then also I started declining the rest of the projects little by little so I was kind of reorganizing everything. I have to say this was one of the scariest moves because I was financially responsible for 60 members at that time but on the other hand I also knew and I was completely certain that this was the right direction. So right now I have weekends off. I have most of the evenings off as well, I have time to cook, I even managed to go to the gym twice a week, which was a luxury to me just four months ago. 
so looking back at all of this and these four months which were hard but eventually you know it pays out so sometimes you have to make these hard decisions if you want to change the direction your life is uh, moving to we also have so many things figured for the wedding like wedding date, place, meals, guest list, photographer, videographer, evening moderator, wedding invitations, decor, decor coordinator, um, tickets for the honeymoon and I even have my wedding dress designed, sued and already hanging here at home um, so we have pretty much everything already figured out and um, these four months were really productive as you can see we also took some time to create our new Christmas traditions and uh, to travel a bit and to see the closest friends and families also to celebrate our birthdays so while working on all these goals wedding, work, personal life and so on, I also realized that 120% this blog and the whole writing thing it's so special to me and it makes me feel like I'm firmly standing on the ground when I'm doing it, when I'm choosing these monthly topics because it's a way for me to, um, you know, improve, to develop myself, to grow in so many ways and also a way to give something back to you guys because I feel like this is um, the mission that each person has. We have to find some kind of way to give back because we're getting a lot from this world. So um, that's why I took the time also uh, to think about 120% and where I want to move with it and what needs to change from now on. So starting from now, we will switch from monthly topics in writing to monthly topics in a form of a video. Just like this one. You may ask why. Because I caught myself no longer reading blogs or articles and watching so much for video content. And I thought, you guys, you are no different. You probably don't have that, you know, patience and time to read anymore as well. So this is why I thought, why not? It's going to be great practice for me and experience for me. And that's the main reason why I decided I will shift my content um, to this direction. I know it's going to be a challenge for me, uh, but I believe that video will help to tell my story in a more organic way, in a way that's closer to you and more personal to you. I have no intention of showing you makeup tutorials, fashion tips, silly sponsored content or anything else you can find elsewhere. I don't believe this and I don't care about this. 120% is first of all a space for me to grow as a person, as a woman and as a professional. And only then it is my way also of giving something back to the world. So, next month we will be exploring relationship. So on my Instagram stories, you will find these daily thoughts, experiences, updates and all sorts of things related to relationships. So it's going to be more like behind the scenes of uh, the whole month. And on Facebook, we will have, I'm hoping, questions and answers um, live so if you have any questions uh, be sure to send them to me uh, because i will take a look at all of them i promise and i will most likely answer all of them or i will choose the top ones guys but most importantly let me know your thoughts about this whole idea and what's coming in any way really subscribe thumbs up like comment whatever just let me know that it's not only me talking to myself here. That would be awesome. And I hope you are as excited as I am because I have such a good feeling about what's coming. The first real video.